Greetings everyone. Tuesday, April the 12th, here's today's Seismic Watch. Lots of activity around Japan here still. Looks like there was an aftershock of the 5.2 here on the western side and a 5.8 within the last hour in northern Japan now. The whole coast here is just rumbling, rumbling, rumbling. <clears throat> Some are stating that Japan is sinking. With all these earthquakes, you know, it wouldn't surprise me. The USA here. Washington is picking up activity again. Lots of quakes today. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six within the last hour. None of them very large in scale, but nonetheless notable. In California. Still lots of blue here. Quakes within the last day. And then yesterday, right off the Juan de Fuca subduction zone here, right almost at this point right here, there was an earthquake. And this is very concerning. Because this is the area that everyone is saying is going to be the next superquake. And there's no doubt that the tectonic plates are pushing. See right here, Japan, here, it's pushing outward. Check out the LISS. It's nowhere near as active as it was yesterday. Just a little bit. This area has been blocked out for almost a whole day now. The Grand Turk, Turks, and Kaisos Islands. So there's some activity going on there. But, again, activity here on the board, but nowhere near the level it was yesterday. So that's a good sign. And then lastly, we'll have a look at Alaska. Just a ton of earthquakes in the last week here. Looks like the latest being a 2.8 southern Alaska on the Aleutians. That's another thing on the LISS. The Aleutian Islands have been down for almost three days now. I'm not sure why there's no telemetry coming from there, but... So again, just to review everyone, areas under the highest watch right now are Japan, Washington, California, Alaska. We had a 4.5 here in the ocean. That's right on the fault line too. Look at this area here. This is my, a bit concerning. So that's today's Seismic Watch. More to come.